When we talk about characters of prayer, there's a point in the Catechism that enumerates certain things that we will highlight today. If we will talk about intimacy, we talk about also the humility and the sincerity that is involved in such encounter with God. We talk about the simplicity and bearing or boldness or audacity in prayer and the necessity of perseverance. Let's talk about intimacy. You may have heard already that St. Augustine, a father of the church, uh, doctor no, of the Trinity, he said that God is intimior intimo meo no? and then superior summo meo. Now, God is the more intimate, the most intimate, and He is more intimate, more inside me than I am in myself. Now, so in, in other words, when we pray, recognizing of course that He is transcendent, that He is another person, He is the other, great other, we also know that it's a dialogue within our hearts because he is intimate he's in us and that in itself expresses highlights a characteristic prayer that it is intimate saint therese of the child jesus described her prayer as a heart to heart with the divine king heart to heart there's some intimacy some some closeness that is involved um, it's not anonymous definitely and it's something that involves persons who are not foreign to one another, there's some familiarity, intimacy, heart to heart. Saint Jose Maria says that it's like talking with relatives. The same way as we deal with persons, we dialogue with them, we can also do it with God. But he adds something, we can talk to him about everything, our joys, our sorrows, you know, encouraging us obviously to deal with him with spontaneity, full of heart and full of sincerity. A corollary of this, because this is an intimate dialogue, this is love. It's a very personal thing. No? A prayer is something that only you can do for yourself. We have to be the one to say to our Lord, heart to heart.